on Larry King Now, T.J. Mizell, the son of Run DMC's late great Jam Master J, is following in his father's footsteps. What I like to do as a DJ is I like to put people onto music. You know, I like to break records, as as for say, like when you were DJing back in the day, like somebody would give you a new song, like you'd, be, you'd want to be that guy to play it first. You know, so that's kind of how, how I am as well. In 1997. I was like six years old. Uh, we went on tour with them in Europe, and that was like the first time I actually got to see how legendary and how impactful Run DMC was. Not only on like in a, in a local level, but we were in Europe. You know, we were in London, Scotland, Belgium, Brussels. You know, and just being able to see their impact on society overseas at a young age was incredible. Your father would was killed in 2002, right? It isn't really said exactly what happened. You know, like people have their stories. Um, it's it's still an unsolved mystery. Uh, never so caught the person. Never caught the person. Um, people say they, they think they know who it is. They, they think they have um, resources to this and that, but it's all, he it's all hearsay. Plus, what do you think the legacy of Run DMC is? Music-wise, like they were like, the first hip hop group or the first group to really break down barriers as far as race goes with music. That's all next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. Special guest is TJ Mizell, son of the late great Jam Master J who of course was one third of the legendary hip hop collective Run DMC. TJ is following in his father's footsteps, emerging as one of the most sought after DJs in the industry, working alongside acts like ASAP Ferg and Jack Yu. He's also featured on WeTV's hit reality show, Growing Up Hip Hop, and will accept the Lifetime Achievement Award on behalf of his father at this year's Grammys. How did they let you know about that? Um, they emailed us actually. They emailed my mom and they're just like, hey, we want to let you know that Run DMC will be receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award. And she was extremely ecstatic, you know, but she, um, she's been kind of, and everything that has to do with my father and his business and, and his brand, she's been leaving up to my brother and I to kind of to take over the reins of that. So my brother and I are going to go in, in honor of him and, and support. That's nice. Were you yeah. an infant when they were big? Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was born in 91, you know, so Run DMC was crazy famous from the early 80s all the way through the 90s as well. But I didn't really get to see how impactful they were until I became older as I am now yeah so you were born raised musically raised musically yeah, yeah. your father would was killed in 2002 right yep. how old were you, you I was were, 11 11 years you, old so you got to remember yeah it. I remember it it was crazy what it's, were the circumstances where was he killed um he was in a studio actually he was in a studio I guess they were where being, in Queens yeah not too far from our home and um and the it's there it isn't really said exactly what happened, you know, like people have their stories. Um, it's it's still an unsolved mystery. As never a, caught the person. Never caught the person. Um, people say they, they think they know who it is. They, they think they have um, resources to this and that, but it's all here. It's all hearsay, you know. So Any we just motive? Kind of, the no motive as far as we know, you know, but you know how you know how the hip hop game goes. It's, it's just a bunch of jealousy and people just not moving the right way. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yep. Yep, I got a little, my little brother in, in here with me right now. Um, yeah, he's right over there. Got an older brother and I have a sister as well. Are they in music? Um, uh, my older brother's in music, yeah, he's a DJ, and my younger brother's on the business side. Now, is there still a run DMC? Yeah, for sure. We've been the two of them. Yeah, yeah, there's two of them. And um, they gonna are they gonna perform? Um, we've been performing like for the past four years now. The first show they did was in Made in America about four years ago. What do you do with them? Yeah, so my um, they'll do they do their disc set. Jockey, so what do you exactly do? exactly? So the, uh, they'll do their set and they do a, a tribute for my father and they'll bring my brother and I out, my older brother, and we'll come out and do routines based off of like the crowd, and we'll do like juggling and scratching and do a tribute for our father on stage. Do you have a tour with them? Um, I've never toured with them. Actually, in 1997, I was like six years old. Uh, we went on tour with them in Europe, and that was like the first time I actually got to see how legendary and how impactful Run DMC was, not only on like in a, in a local level, but we were in Europe. You know, we were in London, Scotland, Belgium, Brussels, you know, and just being able to see their impact on society overseas at a young age was incredible. Son of a rock star. There had to be a downside to it, or was there? Um, the only downside I'd say to having a father that's so big in the industry, or even having a parent that's so big in the industry, is the time. You know, like you want to be able to spend as much time with your parents as possible. But um, just him being as busy as he was, you know, he had to kind of balance his time with with work and with with family. You know, so that was the only downfall. Wish I got to spend a little bit more time with him. But other than that, he was a great father. What do you think the legacy of Run DMC is? It's it's literally everything that we're kind of. 
um, enjoying and, and bringing back today. Like Run DMC was fashion. Run DMC was Adidas, you know? The craze that Adidas has right now yeah. with Kanye and all these artists, that's because of Run DMC, you know? Um, music wise, like they were like, the first hip hop group or the first group to really break down barriers as far as race goes with music. Like people, black people were listening to hip hop, white people were listening to rock and roll. They collaborated with Aerosmith to make that Walk This Way remix and that totally broke down boundaries completely. Were they, were they kids together in Queens? Oh yeah, they were, yep, yep. Run and D um, started the group and then my father was the DJ in Queens that was just killing it all over, all over the city and they linked with, with him to form Run DMC. Do you like being called J J Master J's son? Um, I I do. It's an honor. You know, like there will never be another run, uh, another J Master J or Run DMC. But in the DJ world, there'll never be another J Master J. He's the pioneer, the legend. So just to have that honor of calling him my father is is out of this world. Does uh, the police still work on the case? Um, they don't. Um, it's up to us to kind of to kind of open that up again and kind of go about that but we've kind of just left it up to god as of right now you know like in, until we want to further out the case but we just don't want to bring around any like negative energy or anything like that because so there's gonna, television shows television about shows. stories that are yeah. dead and some exactly. of them are real you know they investigate real. yeah yeah i wish they would have done a little bit what's it what a, a cold job. case right yeah cold case exactly i wish they would have done a better job at trying to figure out exactly what happened but you know how it is with the hip-hop ministry they, they kind of brush it to the side so you have no hope of any breaks in the, you're not hopeful. Um, I, the thing is, I've, hon I've honestly left it up to God at this point. You know, like whatever, whatever he thinks is the right way, justice should be served, then that's, that's kind of how I see it. Oh, you're, a, you're a DJ. DJs make a lot of money. They can they play uh -huh. at hotels in Vegas. Do you do any of those gigs? Um, I, I'm aspiring to. Uh, we've, we've been keeping it. I'm on tour with ASAP Ferg. He's an artist right now. So we've been super busy with that. And then I've been doing gigs on my own. But um. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we're gonna come after those Vegas gigs for sure. DJs, right now, the DJs, the rock star. You know, like That's he makes, yeah. they, the DJs make the world go around. Like where, where the, whether it's Vegas, Miami, LA, New York, all over the world, Europe, you know, um, I know. festivals. It's like the DJs are the, 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 the rock stars. When I started in radio, I was a DJ, it was $50 a week. <laughs> but I was on for three hours. Yeah. I spoke. And uh -huh. I played Sinatra. Eh? Wow. That's all, that's when awesome. we come back, he's worked alongside acts like ASAP Ferg and Jack U. What's next? for TJ's emerging DJ career. We'll be right back. We're back with TJ Mizell at the Grammys. He will accept an honorary Lifetime Achievement Award on behalf of his father and the whole group, Run DMC. What makes a good DJ? I feel like what makes a good DJ, honestly, in, in today's time is being able to read a crowd, you know, like there's a bunch of DJs that'll play what they want to play and they're not focusing on their audience, therefore their audience is bored, you know, so I feel like a good DJ could read the crowd, a great how selection of music. does it music. take to judge them? First of all, how much selection do you have to have? You gotta have a selection. You gotta play. You gotta have a selection, you know, um, especially if you don't, if you don't know what you're getting into before you get there. Usually, like, I'll do research on where I'm gonna play and I'll see what the demographic is and I'll be like, okay, I know I gotta play this. I'll try this song. If they go crazy to this song, I know I can play these other five songs because they're gonna like it um, also and just like music selection of course and what I like to do as a DJ is I like to put people onto music you know I like to break records as as for say like when you were DJing back in the day like somebody would give you a new song like you'd, you'd want to be that guy to play it first you know so that's kind of how, how I am as well is it all uh, is it all hip-hop and rap no definitely not that's a misconception people think that because I'm Jam Master J son of Run DMC that I'm gonna play a straight classic hip-hop set and that's not true I, my, my heart is in I grew up playing drums in a rock band you know I grew up playing bass guitar and violin and um, listening to bands like New Found Glory, All Time Low, Four Year Strong, A Day to Remember, like The Used, Taken Back Sunday, these are bands that influenced me, and that's kind of what I what I like to bring, especially when I produce, I'm a producer as well, so I like to bring that into the set. Yeah. How long does it take you to judge the crowd? I'd say probably about five songs. Five songs, I know I, I can go from this song, if they like that song, I'll play this song, if I know that they don't like that song, I gotta stay somewhere in the middle, and that's that takes about five songs. How big is ASAP Ferg? Monsters. This this man is about to take. So he world. raps and you play music and behind play the, him. Yep, yep. And what about Jack Yu? Jack Yu is a DJ duo based of uh, Skrillex and Diplo. Those are honestly one, two of the best producer DJs that are in the game right now. Who's the DJ you look up to the most? Who's the? Is there a king of the DJs? For me. Um, the DJ that I look up to the most right now in our time is A-Track. 
because A Track is a turntablist and he's killing the festival scene at the same time, um, broadening his music to not just hip hop. He came from the hip hop world, but broadening his music to not just hip hop to dance music in different aspects as well, and bringing the art form of turntablism into that. And kids that are going to these festivals, they're not used to that. They're not used to watching a DJ actually use the the turntables as an instrument. You know, most DJs are up there with pre-made sets, pressing play and mixing, but they're not really making it an instrument. A track. DJ Craze, Clever, Shifty, Scratch Bassett, all these guys like make make turntablism like the art form and actually make it an instrument instead of just playing records. The world of hip hop is mostly black. Uh huh. What about DJs? Um, oh, that's all. It's DJs, are DJs, white, DJs are all, but but honestly, in the electronic dance music scene, there's not very many black DJs. You know, so that's somebody. That's something that I want. I want to fill that. Why void. not? I think it's because there's still that separation between like dance music and hip hop. You know, it's like. Black people don't want to listen to so-called techno just because it has a BPM of 128, you know? That's not true. Um, so like, what I want to do is I kind of want to broaden that and make it so that hip hop and dance music can live together, which they are now. You know, there's, there's, there's genres like festival trap and trap house and, and um, Baltimore house music and all stuff that, that kind of brings it all together. TJ, isn't it time for your own material? Yeah, 100%, and that's exactly what... I've already put out a record. I put out two records, two remixes, and honestly, that's what the world's been waiting on, so that's what I'm going to give everybody. Just a nice a nice project in the next few months, just so everybody can see where my head's at production-wise with music. You're going to tour with other artists, too? Oh, for sure. Definitely, definitely. Um, we've got... Um, I'll be with Ferg until, until, until we make it happen, and then I'll just be moving around, along as well. But, yeah. Tell me about uh, growing up hip-hop. You just wrapped your first season, right? Yeah, it just wrapped it's the first season. It's a reality show? It's a reality show, they docuseries. They follow only you, or...? No, they follow myself, Angela Simmons, which is um, Run's daughter from Run DMC, um, Boogie Dash, which is Damon Dash's son, uh, Christina DeBarge, which is da James DeBarge's daughter, and... Um, uh, uh, Egypt, Chris. Yeah. What do you do? You enjoy doing that? Yeah, I love it. It was cool. Um, it was a really dope experience. What do we there. see? You're all in different places. Yeah, everybody's in different places. It takes place in L.A., Miami, and New York, and um, pretty much shows it. It gives the background of what we do to continue the legacy of our parents. You know, everybody had parents that were legends in the hip hop game, and um, we all kind of go through difficult things in life to kind of to kind of keep that legacy alive, and that's that's what what's shown on the show. Are you going to be in the next season? Yep. For sure. If there is a next season, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, yet. don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there is, we, hopefully. Do you have any uh, extra thoughts about being on television, following you around? Um, I, I wasn't, I wasn't too fond of the no idea at first. At first, I wasn't too fond of the idea, but I really trust Angela. She's, she's. I've been friends with her since we were kids. Our, our fathers were partners in, in the music game. They're best friends, you know. So as kids, we've been, we've been. I've had, I've had a trust in her. So when she called me and was like, "Yo, I want you to do this reality TV show with me. I think it's a really good platform." I, I sought it out and I was like, "I think this is gonna be a great idea." Where do you live? I live in Manhattan, 20th and 1st, actually, right, right over there in East in Village. Queens, huh? No, I lived in Queens for a while. We moved to Virginia. I spent about 10 years in Virginia after my father passed. Went to school out there, college, and then moved back to New York. Got to be excited for Sunday. Oh, I'm so excited. For That's Monday. For Monday, exactly. Sunday's the pre-party. I'm yeah. on Sunday. Oh, okay, cool. I'll see you there. Man, see you there. great seeing you, man. Great to see you as well. T.J. Mizell, big thanks to T.J. Be sure to see him on WeTV's Growing Up Hip Hop and the Grammy Awards. Yep. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at KingsThings, and I'll see you next time.